Today, I'm making double chocolate brownies, and here are the ingredients that we need. Three eggs, one and a quarter cups of white sugar, three quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour, one cup of chocolate chips, a quarter cup of cocoa powder, a half a cup of unsalted butter, a half a teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of baking powder. Now I'm using unsalted butter. If you are using salted butter, simply omit the salt. So those are the ingredients, so let's get started. All right, so our first step is to get all of our flour into a slightly larger bowl, all of our cocoa, and we'll just mix that around. Doesn't that look great? Okay. And then we'll add in our salt. And we'll add in our baking powder and just mix that all together. All right, that's step number one. So this is step number two. I have my little portable heating element here. All I've done is put some water in here and I'm slowly heating it up. I'm gonna take a glass bowl and I'm gonna place it on top. You wanna make sure that the water does not touch the bottom of your bowl, okay? There we go. And what I'm gonna do now, so I'm going to get my butter into the bowl and all of our chocolate chips, okay? And at this point now, I don't want to have my water boiling, but I do want it warm. And I'm going to start slowly mixing all of this up together. And at this point also, I want you to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so at this point, I wanna slowly melt my chocolate and my butter together. So I'm just, I've got this on high right now, but I'm just waiting for it to come up to a simmer, and then I'm gonna lower this right down because this element goes very, very, very fast. So I'm gonna keep an eye on this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause the tape for a while here, and I'll come back when it starts to melt. All right, I've just let it sit here for a while. You can see everything's melting up very nicely. So we'll just start to combine it. I'm just going to let it go a little longer though. You can see that it's not completely melted and I don't want to rush it. So I'm just going to leave this for another few minutes. So we'll just let this go a little bit longer. So I'm just going to let that gently heat. So I'll be back in maybe another two or three minutes. Alright, so this is about a minute later. And you can see it's fully melted now. Okay, so on to our next step. So at this point here, the only thing I've done is I've removed my heating element. I wiped the bottom of my bowl so that it's nice and dry. Now this is very, very warm, you know, almost hot. So at this point what we want to do is I'm going to get my sugar in there. And this is going to, you know, melt the sugar. But it, what it's also going to do is drop it to a point so that the eggs don't actually start to cook as we incorporate them. So we'll just get all of this mixed up. Okay, and then we've got three eggs to add, so we'll start adding those in. So we'll get our first egg. And what I'm going to do here is I just want to incorporate this a little bit better. Oh, this smells really, really good. I wish you could smell this. Okay, so we'll pop in our first egg. And if you want to use a hand mixer at this point, you can. I just feel like using my whisk. There we go. We'll get our second egg. As you can see, this is a really easy recipe, and it's a fun one too. And we'll get our second egg in there. And then we'll get our third egg. Just 
pop that in. So that's egg number three. And we'll just get all of this really well incorporated. And what you're going to need is a an either an 8x8 or a 9x9 square pan. And what I've done is I've lined one with parchment paper. You don't need to use parchment paper, but I am. And I'll show you that in a second. Okay. So there we go. You see at this point right now, before we add in our dry ingredients, this is the point where you really want to get this well incorporated. Okay, that's good. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to get all of our dry ingredients in. And we're just going to slowly incorporate that. And at this point we have our oven going, 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to bake the brownies for about a half an hour. Could be 25 minutes, it could be 30, could be 35, depending on your oven. And there we go. Alright, so what I have here is a 9x9 nine nine pan. And I got my parchment paper there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take all of this, make sure I'm on camera, and we're just going to dump that right in. And if you're using a spatula, you can see how easily everything comes out. Oh, this smells so good. I'm just gently going to push it into the sides. I just want it even. And so what we're going to do, pop this into my 350 degree oven. So I'll do that now and I'll see you in a little while. All right, so I baked my double chocolate brownies for a total of 30 minutes. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to take a spatula. Always use something, you know, rubbery like a spatula instead of using a spoon or a knife. If you're using a non-stick pan, you don't wanna really scratch your pan. So using rubber or silicone is much safer. So just get it in there, there we go. We wanna ensure that we're gonna have a nice clean break. There we go, perfect. And now, we'll just lift them right out. And you see how easy, see how easily that comes out? Isn't that nice? And I'll just get it on there. And there we go. Very warm still, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna let these cool down a little bit and then we'll cut into them. All right, they've cooled down quite a bit, so let's get into them. Mm -mm. I wish you could smell these. They smell really, really good. Mm -mm. There we go. Just use another knife. You can cut them into any size pieces that you want. There we go. I just eat them like this, but you can put anything on top of them. You could sprinkle a little bit of icing sugar. You could put a little bit of drizzled chocolate on the top. Anything goes. I'll just show you these. Mm -mm. My double chocolate brownies. These are really, really rich. So there we go. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. And please subscribe to my Bake Like a Pro YouTube channel and also click that notification bell to be alerted every time I upload a brand new video. If you made it this far, thank you very much for watching. On the screen now, you can choose a video to watch, or you can also click and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you once again for taking time out of your day to watch my video. I really appreciate it.